Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Brilliant Speaker. Hope everyone has had an amazing Christmas and is getting prepared for an amazing New Year. And today is the Cora Christabel and Jack Canfield event special. And I'm really looking forward to interviewing my guest today, who is a really good friend, Lynn Hope Thomas. And Lynn is a speaker. She is an author. She is a change agent and mentor. I'm just going to bring Lynn into the broadcast. Hope everyone's having, having an amazing, amazing day. Day. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Brilliant. 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 Sorry about okay, that. Then? Yes, I can now hear you through the headphones. <laughs> they, weren't, <laughs> they weren't quite plugged in. Don't Hi, worry. These things happen. Welcome to Brilliant Speaker. I'm looking forward to interviewing you today for the Cora Christabel and Jack Canfield event special. We've got Cora Christabel saying, I am excited to be joining you, Lynn Hope Thomas and Mark Stephen Pula. Hi, Cora. Great to have you here. We've got author Janelle saying, looking calm, cool, collective, well done. The best is yet to come. Hi, Lynn. Welcome to Brilliant Speaker. I'm going to jump straight into the oh. interview. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? Okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for this interview. Um, I'm a change mentor consultant. I'm an author and a speaker. And I help entrepreneurs and organizations to navigate through change. So I've done this for many, many years. I work with um, business process information systems. So I help doing all the external aspects of change. However, since 2010, this is the really exciting bit for me. Um, I went through a massive transformation myself and understanding how by working on your internal thought processes, you can actually bring about a change to your external world. So this has massive implications for organizations who really want to rapidly uh, transform. So basically, that's, that's what I do. I help people who may have uh, internal conflict or fears, um, you know, things that might be blocked. So anyway, that's, that's basically what I do. And I know a lot about you, Lynn, but the audience <laughs> don't. Can you share a little bit of your story? Because you have an amazing story. My story? Um, well, my story is, it, it, it has unfolded. It's, sort of, it's like my life story, which has sort of spanned four decades um, and it's interesting because we never really know what life is going to reveal to us. But mine stemmed from early childhood, um, the age of nine. Um, I went through um, a loss and grief of, of losing both of my sisters. And I never really understood until uh, probably eight years ago um, just how beautiful the tapestry of life is to go through an experience like that it was quite tragic at the time but now I'm starting to see the beauty of it which is what I'm wanting to share in the message you know it's something that really matters to me is to get that message out to people around the globe who go through tragic events so that's part of it I mean if people want to know more then they're going to need to come and uh, see me speak at the Jack Canfield event. <laughs> I like that little <laughs> plug there, Lynn. <laughs> I, 
I can only say I've got so much admiration for you. Oh, you. Going through such tragic loss and then turning that around and helping others through their losses. That is such a beautiful thing to do, Lynn. And I really admire what a nice person you are too. Please, everybody watching, please show Lynn some love by typing in some comments typing in some hearts in the comments if you would like to ask Lynn a question please type it in and please share the broadcast for us that brings me to my next question Lynn you are speaking on stage in Toronto I'm coming we're going to Toronto for 10 days and you're speaking on stage with Jack Canfield and Cora um, Christabel and some amazing speakers. You must be so excited. I'm only going to be in the audience <laughs> and I'm super excited. You must be so excited. Yes, I, well, I'm deeply grateful to have the opportunity, well, to meet Cora Christabel again. She is an amazing, inspirational lady. She's achieved so much in this past year alone. I had the pleasure to meet her at the Women's Economic Forum in Birmingham this year. That's where um, I met yourself, Mark. So you know what I'm talking about. You know how exciting Cora is and what a lovely lady she is. Um, and... To be invited to speak at the Toronto Women's Club, that is such an honour for me. Um, yes, Jack Canfield will be there on stage. And I have to admit that he, I, I read one of his books at a time in my life when I was at a very low point. That was in Florida. And um, to be actually, to be able to, go to that stage and, and meet him live is, is just going to be such an honour and such a privilege and I'm just deeply grateful and I'm grateful to Cora and to Sunil that I'm allowed to join them at that event. So I, I look forward to it. I am excited, um, but I temper that with the, the realisation that um, if I can achieve half of what Cora or Jack Canfield or Sunil have achieved, um, then that that would be just such a great reward for me. So I'm very humble. I can see you're really grateful, but also I know that Cora is so happy and blessed to be having you speak to. And just so the audience know, I will be interviewing Cora before the event as well so you will get to hear Cora's amazing story and hear more about the event from Cora please give Lynn some love in the comments with hearts if you'd like to ask her a question please type it in and please help us get some eyes onto this broadcast by sharing it Lynn that brings me to my next question what are you going to be speaking about at the event? Okay, well, I'm going to be talking to what is quite a, a savvy audience. They're entrepreneurs, they're go-getters, there's financial advisors, accountants, um, people with investments, wanting to do more investment. So they're a very savvy audience. So my talk is going to be about unleashing wealth. And what you have to, what, what each individual needs to bear in mind is that wealth means different things to different people. It's not always about the financial. Wealth can be about um, your, your family, your home life, uh, your health, uh, your physical well-being. So it's not just about money. However, the thing about financial wealth is it does give you more choices. Um, to be able to do the things that you want in life, to reach more people. And if you want to do good, 
it gives you that opportunity to do more good in the world and help to bring about change. So my talk's going to be basically about unleashing wealth. Um, I do have a strong message, a very strong message, because the the gifts that I, I have learned, in it's taken me four decades to learn what I've learned. So the tips that I'm going to be giving at that event um, are going to just be absolutely amazing. It's like... Um, I've spent my life going through some extreme difficulties, overcoming like trauma and tragic loss, um, things that have repeated in my life because what I didn't know and understand at the time. Um, and that led me to, to work with Dr. John D. Martini from The Secret. And so everything that I've learned there, well, I'm not going to share all of it, but I'm going to be sharing some real good uh, tips and hints on the things that people can do in order to improve um, their wealth situation and how to unleash it. It's going well, to be good. You, it is going to be good, and you've touched on some amazing points there. People need to hear more about how to face tragedy and overcoming it and finding their strength and if anyone can deliver that message it's you Lynn and you are so right money does help and it's not just about money it's about having the right balance too so you've touched on some really great points there we've got Michael showing us some hearts Michael Beast hi Michael and we've got Cora saying Toronto, Canada is so blessed to have Lynn Hope Thomas oh, coming so all the way from the UK on April the 6th, 2019 <laughs> to share the stage alongside Jack Canfield and other powerful speakers. And mm. Cora, that leads me really well onto my next question. In your opinion, Lynn, why should people attend the Jack Hanfield <laughs> event and Cora Christabel event in April. Not only will they get an holiday, we're going for 10 days. We're so excited to see all the sights in Toronto. But to be in the room with all those amazing people and seeing all of those amazing speakers, why should people attend the Jack Hanfield event? Okay, well, first off, my message is, it's taken me 40 years to get to the level of wisdom that I've got. It's also taken me quite a lot of money. So what I would say is that if you come along and you listen to my speech, that is going to be far more valuable than the ticket you'll be paying for to attend that. If you can imagine that, 40 years of wisdom the things that I've gone through, the lessons that I've learned, that alone makes a ticket worthwhile. When you add to that, that we've got, I think it is it seven, seven other outstanding speakers who equally have um, amazing stories, um, that just adds to it. It's like, for goodness sake, why, you know, it is the place to be. Added to that, you've got Jack Canfield, and he is one of the most successful coaches in in the world. He's sold uh, hundreds of millions of copies of his book, Chicken Soup for the Soul. If that is not a good enough reason to come along to Toronto to that event, um, it's guaranteed that you will walk away with so much knowledge on how to improve your wealth, it like, it's like be there or be square. You know, Toronto <laughs> is the place come April 6th. And you're all welcome to come on some of our travels with us over 10 days. So you must come along to the Jack Canfield event. Stay along till the end of the interview because we have got a special offer for everybody to please show Lynn some love in the comments by sharing some hearts. If you'd like to ask Lynn a question, type it in and please share the broadcast. 
that brings me to my next question, Lynn. You mm -hmm. have two amazing books. One is a collaboration book. One is a collaboration book, Breakthrough. The other is Breaking Through Loss. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your book? Okay, well, the first one, although you, you probably see it backwards on screen, that, that's my, um, the first book that I did. It is, um, I think it's a real powerful story because it's where 40 years of my experience is matched with uh, Dr. John D. Martini's 40 years of um, researching and understanding how everything works within the universe. And it was just a very powerful experience I had back in 2010. I wanted to get the message out there that grief, as crazy as it sounds, grief is actually a choice. Um, I'm not saying that people don't experience it. I know they do. I lost my twin sisters. So um, grief is very real for me. And I know the impact it's had on me. But when I realized what his scientific method could do, it was like, everyone needs to know this. No one needs to go through that kind of suffering. So that that is my, my key book. But moving on from there, I... Um, had the pleasure of going out to India and um, this other book called Breakthrough was my second book. It's a collaboration with 17 other wonderful women from around the world. Um, the idea was um, thought of by Anjali from India. Um, she teamed up with Sindhu from Singapore. Uh, we got together and collaborated with um, these 17 other people from different parts of the world. We've got Maggie Weber from um, Tasmania. Um, we've got, there's a whole list of them. We've got Pat Duckworth. Um, they're, they're authors in their own right. And the person who brought us together was Arbina Ahura, who is um, the, uh, the key head of Women's Economic Forum. And it is such a delight to have worked with these women. They, although they come from different parts of the globe, um, they give their secrets to overcoming and breaking through difficulties when people get into difficulty. And then everybody's story um, and all their hints and tips got put together and they produce what's called the breakthrough engine. And it is like a mindset. So it's a great book for... Um, picking it up and if you've got a particular aspect that you're having difficulty with you can just flick through the pages and look at that section and read it and get the benefit of these um, wonderful women from around the world it's also a not-for-profit book so the proceeds go to um, women who are disempowered um, I think the first uh, lot was going to be uh, women in India so that's my second book and it is just so exciting it's so inspirational and there's so much to learn. I think just doing that whole collaboration thing was um, very powerful indeed. So, yeah, that's my two books. Well, please, would you share the links to those two books in the comments in case anyone would like to grab a copy of the books? And grief and loss is something that we all have to deal with at some point in our lives. Mm -hmm. So I think you've got such a great message to share. I really admire your work, your book. I'm super looking forward to seeing you speak in person. I'll be Thank you. In the crowd. <laughs> and my last question for you today, Lynn, is mm. how can people follow you? How can people connect with you? Okay, well, um, if anyone's interested in the, the Jack Canfield event, then... They can contact me on um, TJC, that stands for Toronto Jack Canfield, TJC at lynnhopethomas.com. Uh, I have a website, which is also um, lynnhopethomas.com. So that's quite, quite easy, really, to find that. Through that, there's connections to um, LinkedIn, etc. cetera. Um, also, hello at lynnhopethomas.com. You can email me there. I look forward to um, hearing from people. Yes, and 
will you type that in the comments so that it's easy for people to find you and what i would like to share as well lynn can offer some great discounts on tickets so if you email lynn directly for tickets she can offer you discounts on tickets it's the cora cristobal jack canfield event on the 6th of april in toronto it's going to be an incredible event. Over the next few weeks, I will be interviewing some more of the speakers, including Cora, so you'll get to see more mm -hmm. about the event. It's going to be incredible. Join us there. There's quite a few of us now coming from the UK, so there'll always be people, that familiar faces, that you, you can come and meet up with us. We'll keep you company, and it's going to be an incredible event, Lynn. We're so looking forward to it, aren't we? We are. And, you know, when you say type in the comments, do I do that now or after? When, when after? the broadcast finished, when the broadcast <laughs> finished. I love technology. It's amazing. So if you would like discount tickets, please get in touch with Lynn. She will type yeah. the links in the comments. She can grab her book below. Lynn, thank you for being my guest on Brilliant Speaker today. Oh, thank, thank you very much, Mark. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 6th of April, Jack Canfield, Cora Christabel event, discount tickets with Lynn. We're going to be there. Please come along because it's going to be an amazing event and watch out for my next coming interviews of Jack Canfield and Cora Christabel event specials on Brilliant Speaker. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank Thanks, you for Mark. being my guest today, Lynn. Take Merry care. Christmas. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas to you. Bye. Bye.